Today I am going to show you how to create a subdomain. To have a subdomain it means that you need to have um, a domain first. You need to have a blog. So my blog is called aurorajones.com and let's say for instance for the case of this example that I want to create a subdomain um, on on the training on a specific training this is what I will be doing so first of all you will need to go to your cPanel if you don't have the uh, details the username and password of your cPanel go to your emails and you should have received an email ages ago um, concerning your details about your cPanel um, related to your blog your current blog so you enter your username, your password, then you log in. Once you've logged in, you would uh, I've got I'm using HostGator, you know, so this is my C panel. So you will be scrolling down, so that's the first, second, third. Uh, we go a bit further down here where it says domains click on subdomains so once you've clicked on subdomains let's say i would like to create a training subdomain so i'm going to call it um i've joined znz recently so i'm putting down z and z training aurorajones.com I click on create and my subdomain has been created so the new URL would be znztraining.aurorajones.com so now I will go back to my um, I will go back to my C panel. If I go down here, it says home. Here we go. So now I need to add a WordPress blog onto my subdomain. So how am I going to do that? Again, I scroll down. I'm going to pass domains and a bit further down where it says software services. I'm going to click on quick install so I go to quick install then on the left hand side under billing software go to blog software and click on WordPress once you've clicked on WordPress uh, you would simply it says that you want to use wordpress.org which is a self um, hosted web, um, blog website so you will click on continue and install WordPress on which uh, which address, which uh, URL. So you click on this arrow here and the one I just created was called znztraining.aurorajones.com So I'm going to click on this. My admin email would be let's say this one uh, then just give me a second I'm going to so you need to show your uh, you need to select the URL where you want to add the word press blog so mine I found it here under ZNZ training what I will need to do now is fill in the information. So let me do this first and then I'll get back to you.
So I've clicked install just below and now it says that my domain is uh, is ready. So congratulations your installations your installation installation is ready. You can access it now by logging here. So here is my username and here is my password. It's only an example anyway, so I'll be changing it. So um, I'm going to copy my password, access here my new blog, and here we go. -da! So this is my blog. This is what it's going to look like, and obviously I can change everything around it. That's the beauty of it. <coughs> So how am I going to do that? Very simple. I scroll down, go to login. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Enter my username, my password, remember me, login. And once I've logged in, here is my back office. And it's actually in my back office, but I will start um, I will start creating pages, blog posts, so on and so forth. So I will be clicking now on pages. I want to add a new page. So what we call a page, I'm going to show you very quickly on my, on my blog. <coughs> So here is my blog, aurorajones.com, and what you see just right here, where you see home, about Aurora Jones, my family, need more leads, partner with Aurora and reviews, they are called pages, so tabs. And this is what I'm going to use to create um, some training sessions about ZNZ training. So let's go back. Here we go. So I'm going to call this one here. Okay, getting started. Okay, I'm going to get getting started. Um, and then publish. There we go. So now if I want to view the page, there we go. My tab is just here getting started. And then obviously I can add whatever I want, you know, about getting started. This is really simple. So think about the different tabs you want to add on your new WordPress blog. So that's it really. Um, I will be making other videos about how to configure your blog, how to add pictures, how to write a blog post, how to add or insert a link inside the blog and it's actually quite simple. So um, have a good day, speak to you later and um, leave a comment then on my on this video and on my blog post um, saying post and I will catch up with you later. Take care. Bye.